I remember you even saying, uh, I think it was in our movie episode, you may have said it, I think you said it in our episode with Debbie too, uh, when you were saying in the movie, The Hurt Locker, uh, yeah. you, you said like you'd mixed thoughts about the movie itself, but, but, and I don't when even came think home. I've seen the movie, but yeah, you were saying coming home and just like yeah. going to a Walmart. Yeah. That was, that was an up and a down experience. It was, you know, cause you, I, that, the, the Hurt Locker, yeah, the, the tactical portions. And I thought they played it. The guys played, I think Jeremy Renner or whoever, is that who it was? The, uh, but the movie, it's the, it didn't really, but when he got home at the end of it and he's having to pick cereal and seeing the importance of cornflakes or frosted flakes yep i remember you I, re- I do remember coming home and going to the store and be like who gives a fuck I, why is this so important but and i think i've heard people say i mean obviously i think this audience knows i'm not a veteran or combat veteran but i, I think i've heard people even say like being in that uh setting with like the fluorescent lights and the aisles and everything and just uh, it, it's like overwhelming right because it, it's not chaotic it's it's not it's 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 but it's still stressful because you're still trying to adjust and reacclimate back to just being normal where you haven't felt normal in a while. And, and, and that is something that takes time. That's why people have what we call demobilization. That's military. They've learned that, that when they come home, they, they aren't allowed to actually go home and just be home for 30 days. Cause they have to demob. They have to bring themselves down. And that is a, that is a testament to veterans that come back, just going to the store and just trying to, trying to figure out the importance of just living normally. But as I now have got out, that is extremely important. And in fact, you know, that that's huge. And having a good family and st- stable life at home is that you realize that, hey, man, nothing is life or death. Let's, let's, it is important. My kids don't like Frosted Flakes. They like Corn Flakes. I got to pick the Corn Flakes or I'm going to have problems at home. And <laughs> you're still making decisions. And, yeah. and, um, but I did. I do remember that. I do, and, and the feeling of boredom when you come home, like, man, I'm bored. Now, again, I, I, I don't feel bored at home anymore because this is where... I want to be. And, and that was a struggle at first, but I, yeah, I, the hurt locker, if you don't watch any part of the hurt locker and watch the end of it, because that to me is probably the most realistic of the whole movie. Now I was an EOD guy. You guys can talk about the EOD stuff, but I, to me, that movie in itself, the end of it was spot on. Cause I went through those same things early on in my career until I was able to figure it out. And then I enjoyed actually, that's what I would do. I, I said on a show before I go to target and walk around just to reacclimate to the normalcy and the wonderfulness of being in this great country that the sh- shelves are full. Nobody's trying to blow me up. The music's going, the lighting's good. And lighting's aren't flickering <laughs> everywhere. And everybody's just, you know, whether they're smiling or not, they're still, it's still, I'm, I'm in America. And I, I, I admired that after, but yeah, bro, that I remember I, that's a great scene that movie. I, I, I really can go back to the first couple of years of my career going overseas and be like, Man, I really relate to that. And then having your one year old, that holy shit. I know I'm going long here. I'm sorry. No, no, I I think it's good. But but yeah, I had just had my one year old, and you know, he just is born, and you're, I'm I'm picking up Christian, my boy. And, but, and I actually did a post, I didn't mean to do it. I wasn't planning this way, but I did that post just recently on Instagram where it was me bringing him home and looking at him and going, man, I love this, but that pull of, I really want to go back, but you, you, it's almost, it's, it's, it's that feeling of, should I be feeling this way? I don't know if I should be feeling this way because I just had my son. It's my first son. And yeah, this I, is supposed I, to be the most significant yeah. moment of your life. And I'm like, it's awesome, but gosh, I, I really want to get back to Baghdad. And that actually in the hurt locker, you see that when he's playing with his son and being like, I love you. Basically, I love you, but I love this more and I got to go. And then it cuts after the movie. You see, after you see him playing with his son, it cuts and it shows him back in Iraq walking to go defuse a bomb. Then the movie ends. And I, I get that. I, I totally, I told, and a lot of veterans out there totally get that. And uh, now it's completely, you couldn't, you couldn't drag my ass overseas anymore. I'm like, fuck no, I'm staying home. I want to be here. But that point in time, it was. And that, that makes you have, have feelings of guilt too. It really does. Um, and, and we'll always fight that, but again, that's adversity. Everybody feels guilt. How do we get through it? Just live the best day you can the next day and don't try to forget it. Embrace it. I had that. That was a great, I was experienced. It was, a, it was a feeling that I felt and I'm not going to regret it for the rest of my life. It just is what it is. And I did have a wonderful experience in Iraq. I got to experience that. But now, where am I at now? 
now I'm with my seven year old and my my son that's gotten older. Christian is wonderful, tremendous. My daughter who hit the winning three pointer just yesterday when I nice. watched her game. Wow. Yeah, she's a tremendous athlete. But now I'm actually at a point where I can put that away and I can embrace just being home and being a father, which which if I still had that regret of missing that one year old missing, you know, wanting to be in Iraq and not wanting to be home, I don't think I'd be able to enjoy the time I have now with my kids.